Okay guys, let's do some word talk. Now this is probably gonna be a little bit longer than usual because we covered a lot of things and I have some examples to show you. So bear with me. If you have something to write with at home, you can write down with me. Here's my first word that I wanna talk about with you. It's F A, and I'm writing it big so you can see it good. C E. F A C E, face. Like, I wanna see your shiny faces. I wish you were here so I could see your smiling little faces. All right, face. So, if you want, you can write this down. You can pause me. You can give it a few minutes and then play it again and see if you got it right. Or you can just keep listening. It's your choice. So, here we go. Face. All right, if you remember, this C is going to make it soft sound because it's next to E. And E is saying, yes, C, you got to be an S. I'm going to put a little S over it just to help us remember he's being an S. Then E can reach around A because, I mean, reach around C because there's only one letter between the two vowels. And he can pick on A and make A say his name. And A will say A. So let's see. I know I've already read this word for you. But I wanted to kind of show you a little bit about why it was working the way it was. So we're going to read it together just like we would if you did not know it. Ace. Oh, and E's not saying anything because he's a busy guy. Ace. Face. Like, your nose is on your face. All right, here's your next one. C-A-G-E. And I am not going to read this one to you. We're going to code it. So if you want to write it down and code it with me at home, that's just fine. Here we go. So E is telling G. You're a G. You got to be a J. So I'm going to put a little J over him to help me remember that G is making his soft sound. He'll say J. And at the same time, E is bossing G around. You're a G. You got to be a J. He's reaching around because there's only one letter between him and the other vowel. And he's picking on A. And he's making A say A. So let's, oh, and he's not saying anything at the end. So let's read our word. Here we go. K A J. K A J. Cage. Right? Cage. All right. Let's do another one. Here's one other thing that we learned. I'm going to write this word down B A D G. E, and you can write this down at home with me if you want, but if not, just follow along. All right, I see a trigraph, D-G-E. D-G-E comes after a short vowel, which that is definitely a short vowel, and he comes in a one-syllable word, which means a word you can say in one bite. So we know that this word will be one syllable, and it has a short vowel, and it ends in a J. And remember, no English word ever ends with a J on the end. So... We know that it has to be D-G-E because J cannot be at the end of a word. So here we go. B -a -j. Badge. See when you just break it down and you know how to code it, words that look like they could be hard actually are pretty easy. Let's do another one. I'm gonna do this one. Okay, what do you know about this word? You can write it down, code it, pause me, all you need to, but I'm going to go ahead and move on. So here I go. Let's start at the beginning. I see a blend. A blend you put together when you read, you pull apart when you spell. So that'll say pull. We're reading it, so I'm putting it together. Pull. I see a closed syllable, so I know E will say eh. And I see a trigraph, D-G-E, that I know will say J. So my word is pull, eh, J. Pledge, like when you say the Pledge of Allegiance in the morning at school. Pledge. All right, one more. We're going to practice this one more time. So here we go. I'm going to write this word down. I'm going to code it. Close syllable. Um, E's telling C, Joe, C, you got to be an S. And then a blend on the end. All right, so here we go. And this make it look more like a breathe so you guys aren't confusing it. There. All right, so it says sent, sent, sent. Like, not like you sent somebody to the store, but like you have one cent in your pocket, which is money. You have some money in your pocket. You could have a cent. So that is our word talk today. Um, hang in there. I know this is all new and it's kind of confusing, but we're going to keep 
on doing it. Uh, before I let you go real quick, I do want to quick review some other ones that we've talked about in the past. So I'm going to write some words down real quick before I let you go. Because I just realized we kind of have some stuff from last week that we need to go over. So let me write it down and make sure that you guys have it. Okay. That's the main one that I want to talk about. So we see a trigraph, again, TCH. We know that that T shows up to keep the A from picking on CH. The T is sort of, sort of like CH's bodyguard. So when A is next to a CH, we call in the T to be a bodyguard so the A is not picking on the CH. So it's in a one-syllable, short vowel word. We put a T in with our CH, and it says m a c h match. And that is our word talk. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging with me and make sure you go and read your reader.